welcome to our channel where the grace note stitchers i'm corinne i'm colleen and we just have a little bit of updates for you tonight but something we have a really lousy intro <laughs> like we don't ever have a real intro so we want to say thank you for everybody who's been watching us we have hit a thousand subscribers a little bit ago mm -hmm. um so that was really awesome and um met a lot of new floss tubers at stitchcom so um I don't know if we are growing. I haven't looked, oh, yeah. but um, anyway, welcome new people. Welcome old viewers. I don't want to say yeah. old people. <laughs> um, just a little bit. I forgot to show you all this. It was hidden away in my bag. So because I was a member of No New Starts, my friend Carla put these at everybody's table. She colored them mm -hmm. with colored pencil. I thought they were really cool, so I just wanted to make sure I got that shown. I found more of my floss drops too, but yeah. that's okay. Um, I have a fully finished. Mm -hmm. I was at Hobby Lobby yesterday with my husband. Hair, sorry. I didn't even see if I could get them. So. Oh, and um, <clears throat> I said to my husband, I need to go check my hair before I get on floss tube. He said, No, you don't. Just you know, make sure they know that your shirt says "messy hair, don't care." Anyway. <laughs> My fully finished, this is um, Beauty and the Beast by Primitive Hair. Hair. And it is stitched on her 30 count linen. So I used um, Primitive Hair linen on this. I was pretty happy with how this is turned it, out. Yeah, it's just the regular glass. It is regular glass, it's not museum glass because this was a wall frame. I told my husband last night he wanted to put it up. So <clears throat> we went to Hobby Lobby. Um, oh, that's why you didn't put it up, it's because you have to show it. That's right. Okay. So, my dear hubby has volunteered to cut all of my fabric off of the bolts. So, we had um, um, rotary cutters and everything else is on sale this week at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. So, we were waiting for this week. And um, so, he picked me up from after work last night. We went over and I got some zippers and buttons because buttons were on sale. But anyway, he... Um, we wanted to get him his own rotary cutter because he's left-handed. So every time he goes to use my cutter, I either have to turn it around or like turn the blade to the other side, or I have to turn it back for him. So we bought him one of his own and made it a left-handed rotary cutter. Mm. Should I say what you're doing right now? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Somebody's frogging over here. Um, so anyway, we were over at Hobby Lobby yesterday and we went to check out and we got they they said code seven is it code seven register ten to register ten so that they could do an employee checkout mm -hmm. and somebody when they called back or somebody called up to the register and said hey they have a framed piece to pick up it was her <laughs> so, she didn't recognize me because I sound a little bit different I didn't hear you you didn't hear me uh -uh. Oh, okay she was at another register I know well I couldn't hear you I was at register ten uh. I said over the speakers for her to call my extension. Yeah, I didn't. You did not hear that. Mm -mm. So I went back to you went back to framing, but I went and already was walking it up to the front. So I'm like, oh, Colleen's not here. And the young man who works in the department goes, I can page her. I went, no, no, no. I'm just here to pick up a piece. So he went and started <laughs> to look, and here she comes. I have carried it up to the register for you. And uh when you rang the bell he was like <laughs> your parents <laughs> oh yeah i do that to her all the time whenever i know you she's thought, afraid me you thought i was in the back i'm like it's check day i was unloading i, I always go ding 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 because i just want to annoy her mm -hmm. <laughs> at least sarah wasn't there because... i do not do that at the fabric counter i ding it once if nobody's there but i'm, I'm usually around so i just go hey go away can you go do this yeah. but i am respectful did you get this for me or did I get this? I didn't touch it. Apparently I got my cover photo and I was going to send her on a wild goose chase. Yeah. Anyway, my husband and I have been out doing some antiquing. So, do you have pictures? No. We have to insert pictures. Yeah, I guess I could put some. He's got all the pictures. I could insert a few shots here. Oh, if I was you want. talking about just displaying them. Oh, I could take a picture. Okay, I get it. Um, we have been collecting frogs. Like I said, rivet, and dishes. Rivets. <laughs> and little glass dishes. But some of our frogs are big, so they're big dishes. I told him no more big frogs. We kind of are out of space already. So anyway, 
we went on a trip well our weekend trip was really nice we went down to mount vernon um this whole covid thing has killed me basically i get out of breath so easily i get worn out i'm not tired like sleepy tired i am just worn out um so i wasn't didn't do so well at mount vernon um in the heat we took a boat ride that was awesome really mm-hmm it was about 45 minutes. It was so nice. And I didn't want to get off. Hold on. for dog, please. Hello, Paris. Um, so then we toured the house, toured the mansion. And that was nice. We enjoyed our time. But you, like, you were in and out of the air conditioning. So that was a little rough. And then he wanted to tour the grounds. And I had no energy. I'm like, you know what? Let me sit here in the shade. And you can go out and wander. And he didn't want to do that. So... We did go look at a couple of the outbuildings, and then he said, let's just go back to the hotel. Um, actually, no, we went to lunch, and we had reservations for 3 o'clock, and it was like 2.05. And I said, see if they'll just take us a little early. So he said, is there any way for you to get us in early? And she said, yeah, sure. Follow me. We're like, wait, what? We just thought our name would go in early. But yeah, they had a table ready for us, so we ate there, and it was nice. And then um, we went back to our hotel. We did stitch a lot. We both stitched. It was so much fun. I'm not inserting a picture here because <clears throat> I was not, <coughs> I had quite the mess around me and I, I didn't, oh, it just, it looked bad. The pictures just looked bad. But, um, all that matters is you're stitching. We were stitching. And it was funny because he took a picture of me. I went, oh, that is awful. And he thought he took a bad picture. It's a painting that was above us, and I hadn't noticed the painting until he took the Wait, picture. Really? What? Mm -hmm. what was it? And then he looked up. It was just abstract, but it was not pretty abstract art. Oh, okay. So none of the paintings in our room were pleasant to look at. However, when we went to the next place, which was an inn, those paintings on the walls, or art on the walls, were very nice to look at. Some were abstract, some were floral. It was just different things, but it was much prettier. <laughs> and because we noticed the other art, we noticed this yeah. art because we're like, oh, look. So anyway, um, so that was our weekend and uh, he's not ready to be on camera yet. He's stitching and he'll make an appearance on Zoom, but that's all he wants to do for now, which is OK. Uh, he did say he might participate a little in 24 hours of cross stitch. So we'll have to see. Oh, that's right. It starts tomorrow. No, oh, it's actually the end of the month. Oh. In two weeks. You're off tomorrow, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. And then it's two weeks later. Oh, uh, that's weekend what you off. figured out. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's your next weekend off. So that's good. Um, and I'm trying to think. My sister will be here for it. So so I'll, I'll have to see if she'll make an appearance on Floss too. Eh. I think she will. Eh. She's a pretty outgoing person. Yeah, she definitely will. Uh, and if I get interrupted, it's because he's out there cutting bolt. <laughs> so he might have questions for me. Um, anything else that we want to catch them up on before we go into our whips? Other than I unloaded truck yesterday. Yeah, and sorry. I, I was like, oh, my feet are bending just from actually moving with that much. <coughs> I do move. But anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, take the hand truck. I want to say I went over or being touched. What was I thinking? Cause I haven't done it, but I was like, I have to give it to the people who actually like have departments, but unload the truck when it comes and then have to put some of their stuff away. But they usually get to leave before we close and stuff. But I was still like, man, I, I went wind, winded. I just need to like take a second before I can actually just dig through the boxes. Because with the arts and hobbies, they come in the boxes just along the wall together. So we have to sort them because it's just one sign in the truck that shows that we dig. So. And those boxes are heavy. Mm -hmm. At least I didn't have to deal with boxes that actually spilt on the truck. But anyway, that was, that's it. All right. So you ready to show some whips? Uh, I guess. Okay. Do you want to keep working while I show my first? Yeah. All right. This is Amazing Grace by Tilton Crafts. This is the one I was talking about last week that I uh, only worked one night at the late night stitching room, but I worked on it since we've been home quite a bit. It is not my current whip. Ah! Sorry, my thread got stuck in my roller frame. But this is what I've been working on, or was working on, up until this past week. 
um, I don't have my numbers with me to tell you how many stitches I'm putting to it. All right, Paris decided she needed to come say hello to her peeps. Uh, say hello, I'll, audience. I'll have a cup cutter photo because it's in a magazine. Oh, you see an outline one. of them. Yeah. It's called Samurai Scene. It's from the World of Cross Stitching. And it's behind here. And I've had to frog probably this side before, probably all the way down or something. And now I found that like, oh, this is wrong. So there was my mistake. So I have to. Do you have a copy? Add more. Do you have a working copy that you're highlighting? Yeah, black and white in color. I think I made the color black and white. That's what I think I did. That's a way to do it. I never even thought about that. What? Copy your pattern in black and white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that makes it easier for me. You're right. But I don't know if I said I'm supposed to, but I did bands completely without highlighting one stitch. So completely without what? Highlighting one stitch and it was a color pattern. But apparently this one needs some And same with Goose Girl. I don't know. And I, but highlighting to me is just counting and I don't count. Well, that's highlighting, but he's not counting. Mm -hmm. But it's, <clears throat> so he's coming quite along. Do you know the name of his pattern? Bird? It's a bird. Freedom Crow. Freedom Crow from Etsy. And he is on the flag and he got the first color. He's got the blue square done where the stars are. And he started on his stripes last night, but he went like three rows too far on the stripes. So I had to frog all that for him. And uh, this is the extra copy got him. I really need to just take a copy. And then I got him started. I didn't do anything but thread his needle back up uh, so he could finish the color, but it's because he stopped highlighting as he went. Mm. So when he highlights, he knows where he is. Am I doing my next book while you do it? While you play? All right. This is um, Sleeping Princess by Nora Corbett, Mirabilia. This was my 4th of July weekend start. I have a friend, um, Nikki, who asked me to start this with her this weekend. And I really haven't been able to put this down. So I probably have like eight, 900 stitches in it already. Cause not only am I playing my kitchen game still, sorry, I found a big fuzzy I'm trying to get off real quick. Um, so I'm not only just playing my kitchen game, uh, this is what, I, it's kind of easy to stitch on while I'm my husband is stitching. Down, like her... mm -hmm, I'm doing the blanket. So oh, it, you do that blanket stitching? it's been kind of fun to work on while I'm sitting next to hubby. And you know, I'm, it's only about four different colors. I'm the holes that you, that you see in it are my blended threads because I don't love to do blended threads. Wait, I wait what? until the end. Oh, the, the holes. holes. That's the same with the cherry blossom for me. Mm -hmm. And this is stitched on Swiss Mocha by Grace Nose Fabrics. It is 32 count Luke Jobelin. Oh, that's why it's really mm -hmm. nice. It's nice and silky soft. Mm. I love Jobelin. Then you go to Raggedy Taggedy, whatever the I would say it. Linen. Mm -hmm. I have One Nation by Bygone Stitches, and it is on 32 count linen in the color of a snickerdoodle. And it was, that color was inspired by this piece. Yes. As requested. Requested for this piece. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all right, I feel like I just showed this. You did, but you didn't have Pennsylvania one. Okay, hopefully I didn't have it. So, yes, I have pen. I Good. hope we're pen. There's no two lines yet. Did you do another star? No. no. I didn't know if you were going to do like Janet Jabber, who would do I one would star try, in a state. But I'm not trying to focus on that piece. Okay. She would do one state. One star, star state. Week, one state star, one state a week. I know that then. All right. So anyway, I thought that was a cool idea. Um, we will have to insert in your spinning the wheel for our... Is it the flowers? Mm -mm. Okay. Cross Stitch Nation. Okay. So I haven't even started Crystal yet. I haven't finished you I'm yet. Naughty girl. Okay, so we have four people already. Three. Three? So it's Carla, you, and Crystal. Crystal. Oh, that's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound it right. February. I don't even have the cover photo because April. there's that, that. Mm -hmm. There should be more. Like there should be two more. Maybe. And then there's the dude. Oh no, today's four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So we're, we'll spin for that and insert that in here. So I apologize. And then we'll but my out. other phone that yeah. has the spinner is dead. So wait, we get whoever is spun gets to pick juice. So how here they are. Do we find that out right away? We find out. We find out. So y'all have to wait. Yeah. Until if you're watching their channel, then you'll have to see. Yeah. yeah. Our phone's up to 5%. So we have Colleen, Hannah, and Sarah, and I put them on like multiple times. You ready? I'm, you want to hold it and I spin? Yeah. I'll just, I'll just do it. And it and is. the moment of truth. <gasps> it's Hannah. Woohoo. Hmm. I wonder which yeah. lady she's going to hmm. pick. I wonder what color she's going to oh, pick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We know, we, we, we know our friends. So anyway, everybody doesn't. But if you want to know, you watch Hannah from Hannah Dowling on Plus Two. Mm -hmm. And you'll get to see. Which what she picks because she'll announce she it picks. on her floss too, mm -hmm. and I am sure she'll be stitching that one right away because she is excited about that. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited for her. So I can't wait. All right, back to video. Back to regular video. Yeah, and then um, I have to decide: do I want to click do Crystal Row or keep working on? Because I even did Mirabilia um, tulips. <gasps> well, I guess you know what you're doing. Yeah. Because if Hannah's coming, then it's getting that off uh, in two weeks. No! Two weeks. Oh, yeah, no, I two feel weeks like I'm pressured with my stitching it. That means I have to fix it. And, um, yeah, so I have to decide if I want to stitch on One Nation tonight or if I want to go back to Sleeping Princess. I'm struggling with really my fun. stuff. So, yeah, I know what you're working on. Uh, any plans besides 24 hours cross stitch coming up? We're dying next week. Mm -hmm. um, I will let y'all know that right now it is hard to get 40 and 36 counts mm -hmm. so I'm taking the 36 off the website now I had 40 taken off except for fabric of the month um, so I will be taking 36 off temporarily until we are able to get it is it linen? In. okay it's not fabric hmm? it's not one I like mm -mm. okay she likes the even weave by fiber flare it's a lot more expensive <laughs> And it's not even like a regular cut. You get a yard, but yeah, the what um, the width. I'll just is do the like special the pieces of, for uh, Ada. Oh, and for Ada, I was able to order. I think it's fourteen count in the long fifty nine inch. So I'll be changing that on our website. But sixteen and eighteen are going to remain the forty three inch width, mm. which means twenty one and a half for the fat quarters um, for the time being because they just don't have them. So uh, I don't want to cut I can't get them. Um, so until I can, I'm gonna leave the prices as is for sixteen eighteen and the sizes as is for sixteen eighteen. Good. But I will manually go in and change all of the fabrics. Sorry, we had to put fabric cutting questions. So I had to go. Uh, so anyway, with the fabrics, we're doing our best. I'm looking at other suppliers. Uh, I don't want to switch kinds, uh, because I do know that I can get some from Witch Out, but I, <laughs> I don't know that I trust their, what I've had in Witch Out before is that strange linen. Yeah, watercress. Yeah, my watercress that I have sitting right here. This is like a stiffer, I don't even know how to describe it. It is scratchy. Um, it's not like rough to your hands, but maybe I could lace that. Huh? I said maybe I could lace that. Maybe. That would be nice. Because it would fit in a frame perfectly. If it's an 11 by 11. If it's 11 by 11. Okay. Yeah, because I don't know that I want it to be... Um, Magic? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. So, anyway. That's our business mm -hmm. side of... Oh, ho! Oh. My goodness. Oh, so I, what no. I was saying earlier is with our antiquing, my husband has been taking me to some fabric stores where I can just purchase some fabric for bags, to make my own bags, but also cross-stitch shops, which we actually sold some of our fabric to one cross-stitch shop here in PA. And we went in person to a shop in Virgin or in Maryland. Mm -hmm. And she sent me an order, and then 
I got an order. We went in person to another store in Lancaster here in PA. And she placed a 51 yard order. So I can't get her all her 40 counts because uh, I have to save some for fabric of the month next month. All right. So I did get at the very first store on our vacation, I went to Chris. I bought Christmas Queen of the Needles by Primitive Hair. Um, ha, 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 ha. This is actually for Colleen. What about? This is for the swan when I finish the box. Reach and oh. bold. It's really, really hard to find. Oh, that's fun. And they had one when I called. And this is Hello Fall. There's one pattern in this that I want. Look I know. And look weave. how much I paid. I like that weave. For one pattern. I like that weave. Look what I like. Hi, every time. I don't like it on the model. But I'm not going to show you what the I saw. Here. I actually opened it up to the pattern and I went, oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what color I'll stitch it on, but definitely won't be this uh, just because it's not. I think there's a lot of shadows on it too. There could be a lot of shadows, but I think it's just too heavy mm -hmm. modeling, dark modeling. But the, I do have a pattern. Like when I'm done, I'll pass this one to a certain friend who will know who she is as soon as she sees this. Mm -hmm. Because I know she wants this. <laughs> Doesn't that just look her like her? You're welcome, Hannah. All right. And then my hubby got a little piece of haul. Mm -hmm. So he didn't realize I bought it, but he really liked it. And I said to him, I can't get that for you. So you might as well just, we might as well just go ahead and buy it. Hi, where are you going? So that was my first shop. And then... When we were in Virginia, oh, we went Don't to Virginia to stay. I think that's later. Okay. We went into Virginia, but we stopped in Maryland. And I realized I can't get Erica Michaels patterns. So I went and got Stitch All the Things because, you know, I wanted to do this with Christine Stitch All the Things. And then I just liked it. It's was on clearance. It says, my friend... My joys are multiplied, my sorrows divided, my dreams you share, a gift so rare. I don't know if I'll stitch it or when I'll stitch it, but I really liked it. And then I picked this one up for hubby. There's a little uh, sliver or anything he said he'll leave off for me because I could barely look at this after I found it. But it was Liberty Games by Erica Michaels. And... What I really liked about both of these patterns, and we decided the first thing we're both going to do, because neither one of us, have, well, he, yeah, he's uh, on his first project, but I want to do a berry. I've never done a berry. Or is it called strawberry? And we both. No, they just called them a berry. Oh, okay. So there is a berry on the back of his. So we're going to try to stitch berries at the same time. I think that'd be fun. And then when we came back into PA, we went to another store. Actually, I guess it was another day. We came home one day and then went back. And I got this, be nice or buzz off. And I have to laugh. Excuse me for a moment. I think it was Janet Jabber that we were watching that said she was like doing a pass the stash or a giveaway or something on this. I think, please don't quote me. But anyway, it was funny because I had just bought it that same day. And I don't really want to take the rings. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, it's noisy. Um, I got these rings for all my floss jobs because, you know, I got 800 of them at StitchCon. And then because we have all those, all those frogs, frogs, I need scissors. And they can't all be gingers because, you know. So I told him, Christmas and birthday, you can go back and get me some of those old gingers. I, I'd be really, really happy with that. But, you know, nobody can afford a bunch of scissors. So... Um, I said, can we co start collecting scissors from the little shops we go to? We did pick up another pair that's not as good as these um, that we went ahead and put in the frog at one of the quilt shops. I didn't buy it at a cross stitch shop, so I didn't bring it down. But I love this little cat. And they had several colors, so maybe I'll pick up another color somewhere else. But I did ask him, I said, pink or purple? And we both decided pink was the better one for me. Um, so, anyway, 
after all of that purchasing and we're sitting at the hotel and he said, oh my goodness, at the last shop we went to, he went crazy just taking pictures of patterns that he might like to do in the future. <laughs> but, you know, he he's looking at his two patterns of haul and he goes, I can see how this is like a honey hole. He goes, this is what? A honey hole. Like... You just can't get to trap. And, you know, he goes, I'm only doing one whip. I'm not starting another one until I'm finished with this one. He mm -hmm. goes, I don't have whips. I have a whip. And I'm like, I understand. So now we have two patterns for him to do when he is finished with the one he is working on now. So, um, anyway, he, he was just kind of glancing at patterns. He goes, I guess I'll never run out of Americana. I know. There's and he tons. still bugs me about my One Nation. I know. I know. It's just what dads do. Uh, anything else? Did we talk about hanging stuff? Oh, yeah. So, my fans is hanging over our piano. Mm hmm And my Mulan is on the wall above my spit stitchy spot. spot. Um, Cause I'm not pay? taking a picture of it, though. Right. Because it's not really above my spot it's to the right mm -hmm. which is great because i can see it and right. anybody who walks in the door can see it but it's above our um roland our big yeah. iron it's covered with this like white cloth right. it just um, so her cozy cafe off. is hanging right above the light that is for the kitchen so it's on that wall that's mm -hmm. the kitchen wall like still the same color as the kitchen. yeah somebody went crazy and like totally hung up everything i asked like summer quakers got moved to be in the middle beside her sweet dreams and grims went up above the other couch where which looks very lonely it does look lonely but pixie dust oh yeah shaky dust uh will be worked on soon so will be picked up soon and that is going on the same wall with grims because that's gonna be my whimsical wall oh. so he he didn't move grims because i said let's wait till i get my other stuff done oh gotcha and then um, the goose girl, I'm gonna get reframed. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, uh, Belle is gonna go above the TV. Okay. And then, as I do the other primitive hair, we'll move it. Mm -hmm. uh, but he took the stuff that was above my piano, moved it to the other wall, so he was busy that night. Mm -hmm. They got all up for us. He was like going to go, oh, and my dogs, mm -hmm. he put by my back door, mm -hmm. by the leashes, because that's where I wanted it. And then the Christmas piece back there, we took up to our bedroom. So, uh, yeah, he was busy hanging stuff last week. And he, yeah, he was going to hang this last night. And I said, no, I got to show him floss tube first. Mm -hmm. yep. So that'll probably get done tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. It's already 940 at night. Um, yeah, but I got to get up for work. Uh, and then I'm off Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Uh, anything else coming up? I don't think. I don't think so. All right. With that, happy, happy stitching! stitching.